So today we'll be taking a deep dive into Dust2 and utilizing plenty of data-driven insights from Litify along the way. We'll explore some of the best setups and executes to help you guys succeed when playing as solo or with your team. So the first thing we'll be taking a look at is a terrorist long default and we'll be looking at Astralis' round here versus OG. So on this take of long control, we can see that Astralis, they've put down a corner smoke just here. And then on these flashes over the long doors, Magisk explodes himself out and gains some ground. And eventually he'll be playing behind this blue bin and waiting for his teammates to catch up. So watching that one again on board with Magis, Magis has the top spawn for long. And it's really important to when you go for these aggressive long takes when one of your players has a really great spawn for long so on his spawn magic he comes out self flashes and gets himself behind this blue bin and waits for his teammates to take some good fights versus those CT players so with device on this round he started off by smoking the xbox of this lineup aiming on the beam and give that one a jump throw scopes on the mid doors for a second then comes over to throw some flashes to help his teammates and magic get out and then he joins his other two teammates here towards the long doors. So pausing and looking at the map, we can see that Astralis have three players coming out here towards the long doors. They have Glaive outside of the long area. He's holding the mid push and they've got that Xbox smoke down that device through early. And Zipnix, he's towards lower tunnels. And he's locking down this tunnels area and allowing them to still have some presence on the B side of the map. Taking a look at the map zone statistics for Astralis on the terrorist side of Dust2, we can see that their kill death ratio when getting out of the long doors versus inside those long doors is much higher. So it's really important to get out aggressively on those flashes in towards this blue bin area and especially in towards pit as well. These are the spots you're going to be getting into and you should use your utility to do so. So four grenade lineups, here's the long corner smoke into this corner, aim on the left side of this B, middle of the bit just there, give that one a jump throw. Now for flashes, on the terror side of Dust2, here's Dupree's flashes and look at the sheer number that come straight over these long doors. So you can either wing them on the fly, just throw them over as you're running, or you can use a set lineup like this into the corner on the wall here, give that one a jump throw and they pair really nicely with the corner smoke to allow your entry fraggers to get out and start gaining some ground. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is a terrorist catwalk execute. And as we can see, Astralis, they're running it just here with plenty of players coming out of this catwalk area and wrapping themselves on towards the bomb site and looking for that plant. So let's watch this one again from above and think about the utility. So they first throw this smoke here, which we're going to call the catwalk progression smoke. They throw this smoke, which we're going to call the Avangar smoke, and this smoke, which we're going to call the Glaive smoke, plus this molly in towards the CT area. And then on all these flashes, these Astralis players, they come on towards the bomb site, wrapping their way around and clear out this goose position, which is where Breezy here is playing. So that might have been quite a lot to take in. So let's watch this one again on board with Dupree. Now Dupree throws that catwalk progression smoke just here. And the whole idea is it just allows you to gain some ground on towards this catwalk area and make your life much easier as you push on towards that A bomb site. So exploding out on all these flashes are the Astralis players wrapping their way around with these Avangar and Glaive smokes down to give him a bit of a hand as well. And Dupree finds the trade onto Breezy and gets that plant. So taking a look at the map zone tool for Astralis, we can see on the terror side of Dust2, there's a lot of red for them in this catwalk and coming out of this catwalk area. All the green is towards the A bomb site itself. So you don't want to sit back and wait around. You want to use your utility and push forward. So here's the smoke that Dupree threw into the corner, aim on the ledge, give that one a throw. Here's the glaive smoke into the corner, aim on this spot on the wall. Don't touch your mouse, move up and into this corner and give that one a throw whilst that progression smoke is down. And this smoke allows you to push up without being spotted from over towards this kind of car area, allows you to clear goose and get up and onto the bomb site. So here's that Avangar smoke in this corner, middle of that kind of spot on the wall, get that on a throw and then paired up with all these other 
smoke so we can see how this all works together. So with that Avangar smoke here, the left hand side you can one way over the top as you work your way out and then with that Glaive smoke you can come up clear goose and get yourself up and onto the bomb site. Now in terms of flashes, just throw them down here towards this ramp area. They won't catch your entry fraggers and there's some really great flashes to push back any CT players. So the next thing we're going to look at is a B execute here on the terrorist side of Dust 2 and we're going to call this a B tunnels explosion. So watching this one play out with Vitality, let's have a look at the nades that they are throwing. So first up they throw this smoke, which we're going to call a Tunnels Progression Smoke. And then on all these flashes, these entry fraggers explode out behind this smoke, gain loads of ground, and they also put down a B door smoke as well for good measure. Now they did have four players coming out of Tunnels, but one player in Masuta went towards mid. And Masuta through that B doors smoke. So work his way up catwalk. There is an Xbox smoke down like we saw earlier from device. So I move through that on this round. Masuta lines up his smoke just like so on the door frame there on the top left of this roof. And then you want to running jump throw it, throw it immediately after you take that first step. Then Masuta takes a bit of a duel and ultimately falls in towards the tunnels area. Now jumping back onto the execute itself, I want to show you how explosive the entry fraggers here have to be on these flashes. They come out super explosively, gaining as much ground as fast as humanly possible as those flashes go off, get themselves onto the bomb site and start thinking about the afterplant. Taking a look at some statistics here for Vitality on the T side, we can see they have an 87% afterplant success rate on this B bomb site. So it's really great if you can get out with numbers still alive. And here's some flashes from Zaiwu. Plenty coming out of these B tunnels. And here's how you throw some of that utility. So for that tunnels progression smoke in by the pillar here, that dot on the wall just there. And for the flashes, throw them into this cubby on the left hand side. This is the deeper cubby. And this means when these flashes pop, they will not catch your entry fraggers. Allow them to get out and gain some ground. Moving on to the CT side here on Dust 2, the first thing we're going to talk about is a CT long take, as we can see that Vitality are going for here. So in terms of the utility on this one, they are going to smoke the doors, a molly comes in behind this blue bin, and then on these two flashes, these two riflers swing out, clear this area of the map, and ultimately leave RPK in towards the pit's position. So watching that one again on board with Apex, Apex is going to throw that long doors smoke. So his lineup is the left side of the tire, he runs straight into it, just off the side of the corner of the wall here, give that one a throw and that will land in the doors. Then he just flashes over the top for him and RPK to swing out and get this control. So let's talk through some of the utility and positions. So RPK, he was the player in towards pit and he threw this molly for behind the blue crate and then swung out with his teammate on those flashes before playing in towards pit. And going into the mid and the late round, this is where you're probably going to want to stay. Now from in pit, you can smoke the doors just like so. Get yourself far to the left aim just there on the roof. That will land in towards the long doors. And a good thing you can do is play for information around pits. When you spot some players, ask for a flash from your teammate and then swing up on that flash and take some really great jewels. So moving on, let's talk about your AWPA. So Zaiwu, the AWPA for Vitality, threw this flash on the long take. Get that on a jump throw. And here's some stats for Zaiwu's flashes. And just look at how many flashes Zaiwu puts down and on towards long. So make sure as an AWPA, you use your flashes to get that long control. So jumping back on board with the AWPA, what you might want to do at the start of the round is smoke the mid cross to allow your B players to cross over without being spotted through those doors. And then after you've gone for your long take, you might want to fall into these sort of positions around the car area, take some shots and then fall back and commit to playing the retake. And the reason it's okay to play retake on this A bomb site is because it's a much easier retake than the B bomb site on Dust 2, as we can see with these statistics. So in terms of your other rifler that comes on towards long at the start of the round, it can be good for them to play in towards the CT area after you've got your control towards that long area. Just play for some information and spot towards this mid position. And from behind this box, you can jump spot and put down some utility like a molly, just like so on towards those mid doors can be great to push back any terrorist players. And jump spotting again, you can do exactly the same with a smoke and smoke off those mid doors. Now jumping onto the B-bomb site, 
We're going to suggest you play it with two players and perhaps have one of them jump spotting the doors just like so. And it can be really good for this player to save his smoke and then put his smoke down after spotting anybody towards mid and cutting off a B split whilst he moves into a stronger position perhaps towards this car position. Now in terms of your other player on towards the B bomb site, so it can be great for them to jiggle from this kind of back area, play for some information, and if he still has his smoke, you can put it down like so and play around it, either play to the right hand side or play a crossfire with your teammate whilst he's playing in towards car and take down to those terrorist players. So the final thing we're going to talk about on this one is another CT setup and we're going to call this playing into catwalk and mid. So with Na'Vi, that's what they'll be running on this round as Perfecto lines up this flash. It's a really great pop flash for short. So taking a look at the map, we can see that Na'Vi have three players in towards this catwalk position and soon enough they'll be pushing in towards this catwalk area with two players over towards the B bomb site. So we have Perfecto just here on that flash by the baskets whilst Electronic and Boomich they'll be pushing their way up and swinging out on that flash from Perfecto whilst over towards the B side of the map we have Flamey to the right side of the tunnels and an entrance just here and Simple he's playing up and in towards the window area on his orb. Now Simple easily enough in this sort of setup could have been playing more so in towards mid and playing these sort of angles on his orb and make sure you make use of your flashes to push back any terrorist orpers and help yourself get safely onto these sort of angles. So in terms of your solo player on towards the B bomb site, Flamey was playing in towards this corner, but the really important thing is using your utility on towards the tunnels to buy time whilst you're alone on this B bomb site. And from there you could be jiggling again behind this box. So a good thing to do whilst jiggling is after you spot any terrorist players, hide behind this box and ask for flashes from your teammates and then swing out on those flashes to take some really great jewels. So taking a look at the map zone statistics here for Na'Vi on the CT side of Dust2, there's a lot of green in towards this mid and catwalk position. So if you play into these areas correctly, you can get a lot of frags and put yourself into really great positions. Now when you're playing this sort of setup, you're going to want one player kind of anchoring this A-bomb site and spotting towards this long position playing for information, just like this jiggling around the boxes. Something you can do is if you spot any players towards long, put your smoke down and give yourself some space to play around as you play around kind of this short plant area. And if you have a Molotov or a frag grenade remaining, put that down, try and do more damage onto that terrorist side. Now once you're ready to push in towards that short area, do what Perfecto did, come down here, line up a nice flash for your teammates, throw that flash, and on the flash your teammates can swing out and look for some control. So looking at some data here for electronics flashes on the CT side of Dust2, look how many flashes come out from in towards mid and in towards this catwalk area. So make use of your flashes to give yourself a much better chance. Now whilst pushing in, Na'Vi, they were doing it with two players. It can be good to have one player playing wide and one player playing anti-flash, looking in the wall just before you push in. And then on that flash, swing out and try and take some great jewels and put your team into a great position. So if you'd like to explore some of these data-backed graphics and statistics to improve your own play, make sure to head over to leadify.com. All the links are down in the description and I recommend signing up to their open beta and perhaps even upgrading to a pro account if you like what you see. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today. A huge shout out to the Leetify guys for sponsoring this one, and I'll catch you all next time around.